Hey guys, uh, good to be here this week for the labs update. Um, a little bit of information to go through here today. Um, on the session side, we gave the user config build to power users last week, as I said we would. Um, and a few things have come back, which they've reported. I wrote down some little examples here to, to give you an idea of um, what they reported. So for example, we had um, pin conversations having issues during the migration. So you'd have pin conversations and then when you go to the new version, those conversations would become unpinned. Um, unread message uh, sent issues, particularly on Android. So when you would send a message um, and then leave the conversation, come back, that message you just sent would be marked as unread when obviously you sent it. So it doesn't need to be marked as unread. Um, some notification management issues and on desktop, uh, we had a weird mentions uh, or notification uh, menu issue that we fixed up. So yeah, power users have been super helpful. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to illustrate to you like the, the final bugs that we're fixing so that you guys ho hopefully don't have to run into any of them. Um, we're trying to be super thorough with this release um, to make sure that what we release is, um, is of a very high quality. So yeah, uh, just working through those now. Hopefully we'll have a build um, by the end of this week um, or builds for all platforms by the end of this week and then we can actually start doing a more um, sustained release to the general public. Um, so things are looking good on the user config front. We've also been doing uh, quite a bit of stuff on the disappearing message side. I know Ryan on iOS has been working on that, uh, finding edge cases for disappearing messages and the other teams will start on that um, on disappearing messages soon, merging uh, disappearing messages into user config. Uh, so Ryan is finding those issues on iOS now and that'll be applicable to, to Android and desktop when they merge those in. Um, and then there's also been some work going on on Android uh, to build out the new um, message info screen um, using Jetpack Compose, which is like a new UI kind of uh, library. Um, which is going well. Uh, so yeah, that's basically um, what we've been doing on the session side. Um, on the LokiNet side, we have been working on LibQuick still. Uh, this week, big focus on uh, datagram support. Um, so basically being able to send um, information through these uh, quick connections or data packets through these quick connections, which don't require um, the overhead of kind of acknowledgements and retransmission. Um, because that's what we're doing right now. And that is useful for parts of um, Loop Quick, but we just want to be able to decide when we turn that on and off. For example, like if you're you know, getting router contacts or other important information from other LokiNet uh, routers, it's important to have reliable transmission and we have that in the protocol. But if you're just streaming data, uh, say voice data, well, most data in this case, um, that's going over LokiNet, uh, the protocol above that's probably going to handle the, the transmission, the retransmission and the acknowledgement and all of that. So it's not necessary to do the process twice. Um, that's why it's really important to get datagram support in now. And that's what we've been working on um, basically over the past week. Um, so yeah, that just about wraps up the stuff we've been, we've been doing. We've done a little, a little bit of stuff on um, the open group server. Um, there's a few things in, in, uh, in, um, the notification server as well. Um, but you can read the whole dev update if you want updates for that. All right. Uh, thanks, guys. I'll see you next week. Hey, everybody. Long time no see. I'm back and I'm here to report on everything that happened in marketing land last week. So uh, last week was a big week of planning. Now that we're kind of in the beginning of Q3, we're just taking stock of a lot of the things that like worked and didn't work in um, Q2. Uh, part of that planning is um, researching in the viability of the short form content for Oxen, like just looking into that, researching what that short form content is going to look like for Oxen, if it's worth expanding the scope of what we're doing, is it not? So there's a lot of research on that front. Also on the Twitter front, we did a lot of planning out um, some of the content for the rest of this month. Um, also speaking of Twitter, the whole social landscape at the moment the wider social landscape is a little bit in flux now that we've got the new kid on the block threads um, which we've been paying attention to we're like keeping an eye on threads just to see if that's a viable platform for us to enter does it have uh any of our target audience can we reach a new audience um there so we're just kind of paying attention to that and looking into that um 
but yeah, so that's that's kind of what's been going on on the social front. Um, also, uh, last week uh, we had Apple sign on to the open letter um, that we signed on with with Signal. This open letter that we started with Signal and the other messengers, um, Apple signed on now, and so that's kind of a cool thing to see that just like this open letter it was for the uk anti-encryption bill that was started with like just a measly eight people has now you know got over 70 with some like heavy hitters like apple on it so it's it's pretty cool to see that happen it feels good um also last week was a really big week in terms of uh video content in general uh we did we put out a video around uh, privacy tips um that got released and also uh, we've been kind of, you know, slightly, the reason that that video has come out is there's like a slight shift in trying to use YouTube to attract new users, paying more attention to the YouTube SEO. Um, so we did that and also a cross promotional video where we took a lot of, um, you guys, your our beloved community, we grabbed your questions from Twitter and we just compiled them, uh, into a video where we answer a lot of these questions. We filmed a whole bunch of stuff. So we've got part one of that um, that we can link in the description here that you can check out if you want. Um, so yeah, that was, and, and on the video topic, last week we had a session video, the big spectacular 3D extravaganza that I think we, we put out when we launched session or like around that time, crossed over a million views. Uh, so it's really awesome to see that video continued to grow as well. So that, that was a cool mil milestone for the This Is Session video. Um, and then, yeah, finally, uh, because it's Q3 now, we like sat down and had a look at um, the, the data points of Q2 in regards to our customer service um, and support and just seeing what works and what doesn't work. So we'll be able to better cater for our users going forward in Q3. And um, yeah, that that's kind of been the week. So I'm glad to be back and I'll see you guys around in the channels and I'll see you next week. Peace out.